So, a lot of these weapons were last ditch of hope, like last ditch efforts in trying to win the war or try to persuade or move the war in their favor. A lot of these didn't work. Actually, okay, no. All of these didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even, like, think that any of these would actually make an effort in pushing the war. So, the first one is, and I know this is kind of redundant is the unrotated projectile anti-aircraft projectiles. <laughs> so these were basically giant mine bazookas. So they would carry them on these airship or like these giant ships. And when all these like especially like Japanese and German planes, the British would shoot these up into the air and it would just catapult a bunch of mines that were <laughs> tied together with these parachutes with wires. And the idea of it Sounds okay. The idea of it with the planes would get like run into them and then get like stuck in them and then fall down <laughs> And but a lot what made this bizarre was that it was really easy to see and a lot of the planes just went around <laughs> And to add in like insult to injury a lot of these since they were missed would then the wind would then just push them and they would fall back onto the ship. <laughs> and so one of the reports was saying that more British soldiers were injured or killed with this than any other German or Japanese. <laughs> so it was a hundred percent friendly fire. Um, the next one was Russian suicide bomb dogs. So the idea of this was. To combat the Russians, the Germans, or no, to combat the Germans, the Russians would starve their dogs, and then the only way to feed them was to hide food under the Soviet tanks, and then hopefully the dogs would find the, uh, the food, pull the cord to the bomb, and then hopefully blow up the tank. But, again, this didn't really work out that well. So... Because the Germ the Soviets only had Soviet tanks, the dogs, if they actually made it to the tanks, would only recognize the Soviet tanks, run under the Soviet tanks, and blow up their own tanks. And also, but a lot of the time, they didn't even make it with all the sounds, the smells, and the sights of war. A lot of the dogs would get confused, kind of wonder where they were, and then try to run back to their owners. But because there's bombs on the dogs, <laughs> the German or the Russians just shot them. Aww. And yeah, wasn't effective. <laughs> so the next one was the V3 cannon. The V3 cannon was this giant ass cannon that most of the time was just like the picture was on this hill, and the idea of it was to hit London from France. A hundred miles away. Because <laughs> the Germans are a big group of pussies. <laughs> but what was weird about this is the shells didn't even make it anywhere close to their target. <laughs> they went 50 miles and then just fell right into the ocean. That's it. And the funny part about this was Hitler in like Last Hopes was like, yeah, this is a great idea, and signed off for 50 of these. The U.S. found out, like, found the big factory where they were making it, bombed the whole thing. <laughs> Only two were made. <laughs> so this is like the most interesting one that I found, the most bizarre one, was Hitler's Gustav gun. This was this gigantic, it was basically a tank, it was rolled out on a railway system, it was four stories, and the shells could go 29 miles. Um, the idea of it was to try to invade, or to try to like hurt France and then move on to other allied fortifications. And again, as you can see, it was gigantic. But the reason it failed was of course it was on a railway system and it was extremely slow. And because of the size, the allies were like, nah, fuck that, and they bombed it. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't it only fire like Again, three shells a day yeah. and like, pour out the barrel after like two days of fire? And you're like, oh shit, that used so much metal. Yeah, exactly. So my idea was like, you used all these resources where they could have gone to something a lot like more successful. And it was scrapped after a year. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys. <laughs>